with the co-stars. So how long have you been in the reggaeton business? What's been going on there? I've, I've been in the music business for a very long time. Um, I started back in Florida, I came out here about four years ago doing acting. I got into music again, started writing producing for different acts. And um, basically when you know the whole Latin hip hop came in, um, they, they kind of brought me in too. And you know, the, with the reggaeton explosion, I kind of like just, I've, I've always been a part of it because it's always been part, part of my culture. So I've been, you know, I've been doing it for, for about a good five, six years professionally, yeah. You're talking about the reggaeton explosion. Can you please explain what explosion you're talking about? Okay, the, the reggaeton explosion that people are talking about um, has been going on for 12 years. It's, uh, it's actually been real big in Puerto Rico. It started off in Panama, Santo Domingo, but it really broke off in Puerto Rico, and now it's taking over the world. And most uh, labels and radio stations are embracing it because it's a powerful sound with um, rhythmic Latin beats overlaid with hip hop, with uh, dance hall feel to it. And uh, right now, you know, it's, uh, it's becoming uh, worldwide, man. Well, there's rumors going around that this single of yours coming, uh, coming out is going to be like it's going to explode all over the top tank. Can you expl explain that rumor? You know, we're, we're trying our best to make this single a success. You know, um, we have a lot of great people involved. We got Paul Stewart involved who's helping us out. What's happening? Um, you know, and you know, we got the co stars who, um, who's done a lot of music for a lot of artists from Fantasia to uh, 3OW, um, Que Mas, um, Cisco. Our Luna, and this compilation that's uh, out in stores right now called Co-Stars in Matico Volume 1, Bereguetón. So uh, yeah, man, we're, we're making a lot of big moves, man. Thank God for the, you know, the right people, the right people involved, yeah. Well, I wanted to ask you, well, what about, the, as you said, this Latin explosion, is, do you think it's gonna translate to other nationalities? Is it danceable to other people who are not Latin? You know, um, the, the explosion that everyone's talking about, I mean, it's like, I, I, it's been around for a long, long time, and, you know, it, it's there's so many things going on. Like five years ago, it was the the Ricky Martin explosion, you know, and now it's the reggaeton explosion. So basically, what's going on is, I, I think Latin music in general is is just being uh, embraced it's by. Universal. It's, it's universal. Yeah, yeah, Latin music is universal, and reggae music is universal. You know, uh, I've been DJing for about 10, 15 years, and I traveled the world with rap artists that I discovered. And one thing that I noticed was hip hop was big, but reggae was bigger and Latin music was huge, and you combine the two, and it's phenomenal. Uh, when the first record started coming out of Panama, El General, and stuff like that, I was DJing at clubs, and we would play these records, and it would just set the crowd off, you know, go crazy. Uh, it was something that had been building and building, and now we have our own West Coast version of it. It's, uh, you know, we have obviously a huge Latino population out here, and which is intermingled with, you know, uh, all kind of a melting pot of different races here in LA, and that, that's kind of what our thing is about. It's very true. We have Latin artists from all different uh, places, uh, Mexico, Cuba, Puerto Rico, of course, Dominican Republic, Central America, you know, and it's, it's a universal Latin thing that we're doing on the West Coast. Very true and authentic to what we do. And it, it's, it's going to embellish the art form of, of reggaeton, and it, which is just exploding international in such a huge way. Uh, labels are setting up reggaeton divisions. It's like when hip hop started. I have to tell you, the power of reggae internationally is very underestimated because in the U.S. it's smaller, but internationally, in a lot of countries, it's bigger than hip hop. So, so now with Latin music also being so huge, you fuse the two together, and you have superstars like R. Luna, produced by major producers and stuff that you know we didn't mention that we can't remember right now but uh, we'll get them interview them later the co-stars because they produce this whole compilation which our luna is a part of la pantera and you know it's part of our west coast reggaeton explosion you know my name is Paul Stewart, and I, I produce this whole video, and uh, I work in management and consulting capacities with the co-stars and our Luna and uh, all the reggaeton artists affiliated with uh, our West Coast reggaeton explosion we got cracking out here right now. Definitely someone who's got, uh, uh, Paul you got the, you got, uh, your finger on the pulse of America, what's the next new thing going to be exploding it's been my business for like 15 plus years to know what happens. You know, I work on films. I'm a music supervisor on many major feature films. I work uh, with uh, John Singleton at uh, Fast and Furious 2. Uh, I just did his new film that won its Sundance Audience Award. And it's been my 
living in my business to know what's going on. As a DJ and living in part of the culture and not watching it, you know what I mean? I've always witnessed it firsthand and I've never seen such a genuine explosion of a music form as reggaeton as anything for since when hip hop came out. And I'm telling you, you know, it's gonna be huge and you know, we got the right artists right here and the song, and if you heard it, it's already being premiered on Power 106 in Los Angeles and you know, it's about to spread nationally, you know. Oh, it's off the hook. It's off the hook. You know, did, did you talk to Arlun at all about, you know, there was a huge concert in town and everything like that with a lot of the really major uh, uh, reggaeton artists. And in fact, it sold out two nights at Universal Amphitheater. So, yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's part, part of the reggaeton invasion that's in town right now. We got Daddy Yankee, the Looney Tunes, uh, maybe Queen, Hector Bambino, and, and like a lot of acts from Puerto Rico. And um, it's great to have them out, out here in Los Angeles because um, it's going to give people the opportunity to see yeah. the authentic, traditional reggaeton artists coming out from Puerto Rico. And basically that's just, uh, I think it's a way of telling people that um, reggaeton music is here and it's for everybody. So everybody out there that are artists, por favor, you know, keep it real, you keep it going, porque this is your time to shine. It's here to stay. And um, I'm very, very excited to, to be part of it. Well, I got a question. There's a rumor going around that you uh, you were an actor. You got some movie coming out. What's that? What's that all about again? You know yeah. That? Um. Yeah. Um, I. You know. You know. Besides the music, you know, I also um, like to get involved in the acting side too. It, it is Los Angeles. It is Hollywood. So. Um, for the past couple of years, I've been out here working on my acting as well. I've, I'm very lucky and fortunate enough to work with Steven Spielberg on the film called War of the Worlds with Tom Cruise that's coming out um, April, I think it's June 29th, I believe. And um, I, I, I play Lieutenant Montoya, first Lieutenant Montoya, and uh, it's really exciting to be part of that because um, I think the acting is uh, a great way for music artists to, to break through and, and have, have a longevity in the business, you know, so. Yeah, it's cool. I got a question. Rick Tolan, can you tell me what that stands for? What the background of that, the definition of that? that the definition of reggaeton is basically it's a sound, the sound that was developed in Puerto Rico, which is um, it's it's, it's a rhythmic pattern. It's, it's a bomba. Bomba is like it's it's a it's a drum, and what what they did is they replaced all all the drums with the hip hop sound, the hip hop element. So reggaeton is um, it's a mixture of bomba, rumba music, overlay with salsa and hip hop beats. And when you say reggae, is that something to do with reggae or anything like that? Yeah, you know, because Puerto Rico is part of the whole, you know, the, the Caribbean islands. Um, it embraces the, the whole dance hall feel from Jamaica. So really technically, you know, like, like the music, it, you know, the, the music from La Caribe came from Jamaica and it moved, it spread out to Panama, Central America, and then in Puerto Rico actually developed and polish the sound of reggaeton. Well, the um the project that we are working on right now is called Co Stars Il Matico, which is in stores right now. Por favor, pick it up, support the new artist that's coming out. Um, I'm working on my own record right now. There's not anything definite uh, yet in terms of the details and what's coming out, but we are in the studio working on a, a, a great record with a lot of great artists from uh, Puerto Rico, from New York, from Central America. And um, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a, a fun record to listen to. So everybody out there, make sure you peep out the Art Luna record, hopefully coming out by, by the end of summer. Anything else you wanna add? Last thing you wanna add? Um, well, basically, I just wanna say that um, I'm very happy to be part of this movement. Gracias, Puerto Rico. Gracias, los DJs allá de, de, del Este que 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 prendiendo la 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 fuma, tú sabes. Pues, pues aquí estoy en Los Ángeles haciendo mi mi cosa para ustedes y I just want everybody back east. It's my hometown. To to collaborate with us, you know, I would love to work with a lot of people out there. This is it's going to be a major expansion for this music, and um, I just want to give my love to everybody who's been putting it together, and I'm here just to take it to the top. I'm from the, the, La Florida. I'm from Miami. Uh, then I moved to Orlando, and um, I came out here to, to Los Angeles. Well, thank you, man. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. Uh, can you tell me your name? What you do? My name is Cherry. Actually, my name is Natalie, but I go by Cherry. It's my artist's name. I'm a choreographer slash artist. Uh, I'm a vocalist. I do a lot of stuff with co-stars, 
and you know some some of my own stuff. So what I do. Can you tell me more about the reggaeton explosion? Reggaeton explosion. Well, it's moving west, west coast. It's getting really hot right now. You know, it's, it's a big thing. I mean, it's its own category. It's moving into its own like its own thing. You know, it's. It's, I mean, it's exploding, it definitely. You hear it everywhere, you see it everywhere now. I mean, you know, in clubs, people love it. Tell me about the choreography, you choreogra I can't even say it, sorry. Choreography, mm -hmm. and how do you get them to, what's the, tell me what's behind that. Why would people, how would people learn to dance to that kind of music? Well, people can learn how to dance to this kind of music just because the beats are very repetitive. It's over and over and over, even through the verses, even through the choruses, even through the bridges. It's a constant ka cat ka cat it's a drum. And so basically, I mean, it's all in the hips, really, you know? It's all in the hips. If you got rhythm, and it's perfect to, to just move to because it's constant. It never changes. So, so you have to be Latin, or do you have to have, like, the best? No, you know, I mean, everybody loves to dance with reggaeton. I mean, you go to clubs, and you got your Asian people, you got your white people, you got, you got everybody just, you know, it's great. It's, it's something that you can really feel, you know what I mean? Like, it's definitely, definitely like a sweating kind of song. You get down and dirty when you dance the reggaeton. So anything else you want to let the, the viewers know about reggaeton that we don't know about? Uh, just watch out, because it's coming. It's coming. It's everywhere. It's, it's going to explode. It's going to be the thing. Are you in the compilation also? I'm in the compilation. Yes, I am. I am featured on T-Weapon's track, She's Hot. So check that out. Go buy the album. Pick it up, it's awesome. We got two weapons, our Luna at the our Luna shoot right now. It's going really, doing real good. Doing it, doing the thing. Thank you. Thank All you. right, thank, thank you. you. My name's Robin Chance. Um, I'm also in entertainment, music, dancing, acting, modeling. I've been in it for about eight years now. Did you dance or you've been hired? I do dance. I used to be a dance instructor. Um, I, t I taught car cardio striptease. It was a big movement out here. Um, started at Crunch Fitness in LA. And we kind of moved it to Texas. It was really controversial, but we tried to focus more on the tees than the strip. And that's what I taught. And now I'm moving into urban belly and urban salsa. And reggaeton is coming right down the pathway as well. Does reggaeton have anything to do with the urban striptease that you were just talking about? No, or, well... What do you think reggaeton, the, the dancing is all about? <laughs> no, that was more about me than it was about the reggaeton. And uh, that's where my dance history comes from, um, is the cardio striptease. It's a very feminine form of hip-hop. And I like to bring that. I like to bring the salsa and the belly dancing into reggaeton. I'm trying to make a new movement with the dance style, so... I was just asking her, what do you think about the dancing? Is it, can it, does anyone have to be a dance instructor or really know how to move well? What do you think about the music? You know what, you do, you do need, not necessarily, you don't need studio training, but if you can feel music, and most you know Latin people can, then that's all that really matters. It's about feeling the music, you know? You can't just hear it, you don't have to be studio taught. It's all about just, you know, feel the rhythm and you just move. You have to be Latin to dance in this kind of music. Absolutely not. I'm not Latin. I look Latin, <laughs> you know. But I've got, I'm really into the Latin scene. I'm into the culture. I'm learning Spanish. But, uh, you know, when it comes down to it, your average white girl like myself can do it as well. It's, you consider you being part of it? I'm, I'm proof that you don't have to be Latin to dance reggaeton, belly, salsa, or hip-hop. This our Luna video, for example, do you see it like the Ricky Martin video that made him big, the Viva Loca, do you think it's going to be something historical, this video, this song? You know what, I believe in it. I do. Yeah, I think it's got a lot of energy, it's got great potential, and I love moving to it. So, you know, who's to say that everybody else won't as well, you know? Can you give me your name? Robin Chance is my name. Thank you very much. Anything else you want to add? How do beautiful women relate to the reggaeton, like the dancing? What do you think that, how do you think beautiful women such as yourself, like, uh, like relate to the dance, the reggaeton dance? Well, there's a lot of connecting, partner connecting in reggaeton, you know, and when you move up and you're doing this whole thing, it's, it's a very sensual and connecting experience with the partner, and that can make women feel really sexy, and it's, it's I guess that could be an attractor. But other than that, <laughs> it's for everybody. It's for all women. You know?